Hello everyone, it's Tana and welcome back to the channel and welcome to my very first guest design video for the Rabbit Hole Designs. This uh, next couple of weeks I'm going to be working with this cute stamp set called Cocktail Witch. So stay tuned for a couple more cards from me. In the meantime we're going to use her and we're going to stamp her out on a piece of Tim Holtz Distress Watercolor cardstock with Versifying Clear Nocturne ink and then I go over that with some Nouveau Crystal Clear embossing powder, excuse me, because I was very excited to use my Derwent watercolor pencils again. These are new to me. I don't know if they're new in general, probably not. I'm also interested to try the Ink Tense pencils, but these are a little bit on the pricey side and so are the Ink Tense are more expensive, I believe, so, you know, one thing at a time. So, She's got quite a few things with her for the size stamp set it is. I'd have to measure it. I'm not, I'm not sure offhand what size this is. She's got a little cat. She's sitting on a broom holding that glass of wine. Or you could turn it into a margarita. Um, pretty much any drink you wanted, really. A feather, a spider, and then two different sets of like sparkles or stars, however you want to use those. And she's also got two sentiments. She has just a little bit wicked and drink up witches and they have it's a very nice font i love the font in fact when i was heat embossing i actually made a mistake and thought i was stamping too hard and it was the font so once i realized that it heat embossed stamped out and heat embossed perfectly so back to the card here i am using those i chose purple for both her hat and her dress for this card at least i do switch that up in the next video and I decided because of her freckles, she reminds me of a redhead. So we're going to go with red hair or Riley colored hair, as I call it, for my daughter's hair. And I'm just going to show you how I color her. And then we're going to skip ahead to the rest of the video. And while you finish watching me color her, um, let me just say, we have had quite a couple of rainstorms this past week. Uh, the first one, probably about four or five days ago, bent our brand new gazebo because only two legs were screwed into the ground, the patio, because the other two screws would not go into the cement. And then today, all of a sudden it got super windy. I was already out there, but I did not move fast enough. That thing just went whoosh and basically fell on top of me the one the one leg the one post the one that broke the first time and now it is definitely broke so we just paid three hundred dollars for this thing and it's already broken it probably lasted a month i'm so upset we i guess we have bad luck with gazebos so now i'm going to take this echo park uh spider web stencil and some Twilight by Catherine Pooler and the brand new Rabbit Hole Design Blending Brush. This is the first time I'm using it and I love them. They're, they're so soft and I actually did not want to get it dirty. It like killed me to dirty those brilliant white bristles. So I just want a very light gray over this panel and this is a fog panel, a uh, hundred pound cardstock from Simon Says Stamp because I didn't want the spider webs to be the focal point. Of course the witch is going to be the focal point but also what I put behind her so I just wanted those to stay in the background excuse me and I do actually trim that panel down to four by five and a quarter and now I'm going to use this I believe this one is aim for the stars stencil from the rabbit hole designs I'm in the car you guys know how it is whenever I do voiceovers in the car I don't have these things near me to read off the names but I will have it down in the description box below and I couldn't decide, oh, before I say that, I did not want to use Pixie Spray on this because I was afraid it would ruin my blended background. So that's why I'm taping it. And I couldn't decide on a color. So I pulled out like purple mousse, green embellishment mousse, and then I pulled out my Indigo Eclipse Dream Drops. And I decided to go with those because that purple was, it's a beautiful purple for the mousse, but... It was too bold for the look I was going for. These are like the sparkles that are coming off, you know, trailing behind her off her broom. That's what I wanted it to look like. So I'm just using my finger for this, dropping Dream Drops straight down onto wherever there's a hole for the stars. And lightly spreading it with my finger. If you go too hard, you're just going to pull all the Dream Drops out of the 
star holes. So you don't want to do that. And then I pulled this up as soon as I had them all done so that I could get that stencil washed. And I let that panel sit overnight. And this is where I trimmed it down. I thought I did it beforehand, but apparently not. Now we're going to take some pixie dust, I believe, by Catherine Pooler. And this is the card panel itself. And I'm just going all around all four edges to make a little bit of a purple border to draw in the color from her dress tied together. And then we're going to put that spider web panel right on top of that with some glue. Art glitter glue is usually what I use to glue panels down to the card bases. And now I'm just holding her in place where she's going to be so I can stamp out, I think I do five spiders. And then we're going to color them in with a black zig real brush pen so that you can't see the spider webs through their little bodies. And after I do that, I also add green and orange gel pen to their eyes so that you can see their eyes. I also used my Copic fine liner to draw their spider web lines holding them from the spider webs. But my Copic liner tip broke off halfway through. I had to use my Sharpie fine liner. So if anybody knows our Copic liner or Copic liner pens like tips replaceable and if so where do I buy them? Comment below and let me know. I've never it's the only one I own and it's never broken before. So here's the sentiment and I used just a little bit wicked and I stamped it out with my Versamark ink and then used uh, Nouveau silver embossing powder for that and now the witch and her little pet cat are going to be popped up on the panel with foam tape and then a little bit of glue up applied to make them stay put and now I'm just creating my own fishtail on my banner so I just measure a quarter inch up from the end and make sure it's not going to interfere with the sentiment itself and then I draw a line up the center of the back there and then I cut from the corner into the center line and that's how I make my own fish banner or fishtail banner sorry so that's it guys I hope you like this video make sure you check out uh, the rabbit hole designs new website and stay tuned for the next video with uh, another card Bye-bye for now.